it's on. New year, new grind. I got a question for you. Are you living life? Or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life? Or is life living you? Less than unstoppable. The International World Tour. Dr. Billy Brooks, coming to a city near you. I'll be teaching a four hour, life changing seminar on the art of greatness. Arise, champion. Every city will sell out. Get your tickets now. This year we're taking this thing global. 27 cities, Toronto, London, Paris, Rome. We're coming to impact one billion people. If you are serious about success, be at one of these events. Get your tickets now at blessedandunstoppable.com. One thing I'm always going to do, and that's to keep it real with you. That's my brand. Truth is the new black. I'm not going to sit here and tell you Life is going to be Ron Howard happy days every day. It's not going to be that way. Matter of fact, it's probably going to be the opposite. You see, the enemy is going to throw everything he has in his toolbox at you. Now, he can't stop you himself, but his objective is to get you to stop you. This message is for the struggle, for all those going through trials and tribulations. People in this world are gonna fool you, disappoint you, turn their back on you. The closest around you are gonna give up on you. And when things hit the fan, everybody's gonna run. You're gonna look around and you're gonna be all alone. I'm just keeping it real with you because somebody out there needs to hear what I'm saying. This ain't a motivational video. Man, this is life. This ain't no game to me and I know what you're going through. And I'm going to speak life into you right now. Nothing, listen to me, nothing can stop you. God will never leave you nor forsake you and that is all you need. There's a power inside of you that you can only discover when you are truly alone. Just as the waves on a beach shore come in and out, people will do the same. Relationships are like music and you should never make music when anybody who doesn't understand, appreciate, and value your lyrics. Sometimes, you just gotta let these people go. You gotta know your worth. Sometimes you just gotta let them people go. You gotta stop chasing people who don't appreciate you. Sometimes in this life, champion, you gotta remind the world just who you are. And you don't do this by telling them with your mouth. You tell them with your actions. You make your actions speak loud and proud to who you are. Don't let the world convince you that you're a nobody. You're somebody who just don't know it yet. Do you hear what I'm saying, champion? I'm speaking to the champion in you. Rise, champion. The way of the warrior, champion eyes. Get back up, my spirit cries, fear dies, choked out by the scream, the desire to climb and live out my dream, take it for the team, discipline reigns, I want it too bad to listen to the pain, I'm a winner, to God be the glory. Tragedy and setbacks, an inspirational story. Warriors like me, we were strategically designed for the struggle. Many before me gave up and quit. Acted all bad, 
to the first time they got here. But see, blood don't scare me. I fear not death. Whatever it takes, champion, to be the best of the best. I was made for war. I cry out to heaven. Blessed and unstoppable. An immortal legend. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain. Kicking and punching. I just keep on pounding. I found it. That deep desire to win. I remember defeat and I say, never again. See, warriors like me, we were born and strategically designed for the struggle. The way of the warrior, champion eyes. Get back up, my spirit cries. Fear dies, choked out by the screams. The desire to climb and live out my dreams. Take it for the team. Discipline reigns. I want it too bad to bow to pain. I'm a winner. To God be the glory. Tragedy setbacks. An inspirational story. Many before me gave up and quit. Acted all bad to the first time they got in. Blood don't scare me. I fear not death. Whatever it takes, champion, to be the best of the best. Climb, I say, the unclimbable mountain. Kicking and punching, I just keep on pounding. Because I'm a warrior, and that's what we do. I'm Billy Owls Brooks, blessed and unstoppable. To God be the glory. Warning, videos by Billy Owls Brooks do cause side effects. And those side effects are champions being born, dreams being realized, the weak becoming strong, weight loss, victory over unbelievable odds, incredible comeback stories, the sick being healed, marriages being restored, victory over all forms of addiction, job promotions, average people becoming millionaires, warriors becoming blessed and unstoppable. These videos will motivate and inspire you to take action. Warning, your faith is now being increased to the level it takes to move mountains. Right. Arise, champion. I'm Billy Alls Brooks and I approve this message. My opponent is yesterday. And as a champion, I refuse to go to sleep until I'm better than I was yesterday. Grind. Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Grind. Charge it to the ground. Blood, sweat, and tears. All in. Those are the only credit cards accepted here. Grind. Charge it to the grind. You can't purchase greatness with Bitcoin. You gotta buy it in sweat. Work. You can't buy that championship with excuses. Your work ethic is your credit score. I'm a champion. You gotta understand. Greatness is not an outcome. It's who you are. It's a lifestyle. A way of life. Legacy. It's not a trophy. It's not an accolade. It's the way you think. Right. It's a standard that you hold yourself to. He is an author. He is a phenomenal motivational speaker. He's a success engine. He's an entrepreneur. He's a change agent. He's a man on a mission that will not be stopped until he reaches his goal. And today, he came here to give you the best and everything he got. I want you guys to please give the biggest, the strongest round of applause that you got as we welcome Dr. Billy Asbrooks. So let's get started. How many want to be successful in here tonight? All right, let me ask a better question. How many are ready to commit to doing the things it takes to become successful? Okay, we're in the right place. Now, I'm going to ask you another question. I just love questions. See, twist, questions that take you anywhere you want to go. You just got to find the right question. Now, let me ask you this. Everybody put your hand up again that said you wanted to be successful. Okay, if the district attorney of Dade County right now puts you on trial for the charge of pursuing greatness, 
pursuing success, is there enough evidence in your life to convict you in front of a jury of 12? Do people even know you want greatness? Come on now. Now see, what I see in this room, I see so much potential. I see so much talent, natural gifts and abilities. Just gold mines sitting in every one of these seats. Now what's gonna determine your future is your commitment. What level of commitment are you willing to make? See, you can't have global dreams with a local commitment level. You can't have global dreams with a local work ethic. If you want to be great, you got to do whatever it is you want to do. You got to do it all day, every day, every second of the day. That's what got to be your life. To go to the next level. Everybody say next level. We're going to level up in here today. Now, to go to the next level, there ain't no shortcuts. You got to put in the work. You cannot buy success with excuses. You heard me on the videos. You can't buy greatness with Bitcoin. The only way you can purchase greatness, success, is blood, sweat, and tears. That's it. Now, I'm not Ron Howard, and life ain't happy days, right? The struggle is real. Can somebody get an amen in here? The struggle is real, right? But so is the God that will help you overcome it. God is good. Listen to me. God is good. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about God, the real God. Not all that structuring and, and hating on people and judging people. That is not what I talk about. I talk about a God that loves you and sees your struggle, that hears you cry, that hears that pain on the inside, that stuff you hide from everybody else. That's the one I'm talking about. He loves you and he hears you, trust me. This message today, you're not hearing it by mistake. Last night, I'm staying over there in Fort Lauderdale, by the intercoastal. Last night, 12.30, I go down to the downstairs in the ballroom, this hotel, and they got it all set up. Seats and tables, stage and everything. And the craziest thing, it looked just like the venue I'm about to do in LA. In October, it looked almost exactly like LA. I spent two hours last night in my mind on that stage, walking this thing out mentally that I'm gonna do a month from now. I could see the faces of the people in the crowd. And I did this over and over and over. They didn't stop me. I was down there yelling like I'm doing now in the ballroom. And they didn't. I said, I'm going to go until they come get me. <laughs> repetition, repetition, repetition. You know, I was here yesterday. So I know. Two hours, I'm up here in my mind today. I was here yesterday in my mind on this stage yesterday. You build it first here. See, we have, as some of the speakers mentioned, we have an abundance in us. Christ crane that we might have life and have it more abundantly. There should be no lack, should be no scarcity. All we have to do is align with truth. See, now there is a truth that God put in you, the dreams, the ambitions that you have. That's on the inside. And you know what that is, you see it in your mind, right? But the world wants to feed you this illusion that you don't have it. So life is about this tug of war. It's what God shows you in your mind, the dreams, the ambition, your identity, and then the world telling you, you're not good enough, you're not the right color, you're not tall, you're not short, you don't have the right background, you don't have enough money, all of that. That's the illusion, back and forth. Now the question is, which one are you gonna buy into? If you heard some of my videos, there's one line I just love and I say it over and over, when something don't look the way I want it to look, starve the illusion and feed the dream. Feed it all day long. I'm going to starve this one into submission, this illusion, and I'm not going to settle for no other outcome than the one I set out for. I believe in these things. You got to get behind the wheel. Once you understand who you are and what God wants you to have, and you got that dream in you, you can't let that thing go. Refuse to tap out to any other outcome. I'm not making no concessions. I'm not coming to the negotiating table. I'm not trying to make a deal with the world. I know what God gave me and I'm coming for every ounce of it. 
That's how we got to walk if we want to walk in the power. If we want to step into greatness, if we want to be what we talk about here as a champion, champions don't concede. Champions don't tap out. You can knock them down a hundred times, and if they still breathe, then they're going to get up. That's a champion. That's what a champion is. When we say champion here, circle of the champion, we're not just talking about like sports and trophies and winning things like that. No, no, no. It's a lifestyle, a way of thinking, a way of approaching life. It's different. This separates us from the rest of the world, the ones that settle. Now, let me ask you a question. Where in your life right now are you settling way beyond, way beyond your capabilities? There's always somewhere in our life we're not living up to our potential. You got to change that. Imagine how you want this thing to be. Make the vision, the dream so big in your mind, it's got no other place to go but into the reality. Make that thing big. See, last night I'm up there, I'm doing this thing. I can see all the people, the room packed, the, around the wall, all of that. I can see the faces, I can see the shirts. What's up, bro? Appreciate you coming, dog. I'm in, the, I'm in the moment. I'm creating the reality. It's like my buddies here that do film. They do movies. Before they do a movie, they do a storyboard. They know what they're going to shoot before they ever shoot it and what angles they want and how it's supposed to look. Our life should be the same way. What's your storyboard? I'm in there last night and I'm getting it in, man. Two hours just, just <clears throat> on fire. Like everybody's there. I'm going 120 whether they're there or not. When I get done, I come off that stage. I go to every single table in there, and I have a conversation with them. Now, most people call that crazy, but the world belongs to the bold, and the rest are just spectators. And if they don't understand what I'm saying, they're never going to get there anyway. Listen to me. First, you build the dream here. Vision. Focus. What you focus on day in and day out, you will move toward. The number one reason for failure, hear me out now, the number one reason for failure is broken focus. Because when you're in the center of the calling, you got the power in you, you got the vision. But if you start looking over here, or if you start looking over there, all these time suckers and things that are Leeches that are pulling away time from us every single day, distracting us from the things we're supposed to be doing. That's all a device of the enemy. Distraction is from the enemy. Be aware of this. Now, the thing is, we have to prepare for the unknown, the unexpected. So when the unexpected happens, it won't derail us. For instance, the hurricane. I tell you this, it just aggravates, aggravates me at the core. Most people, this hurricane come, I'm, I'm up in the Orlando area, and it was supposed to come up there. So everybody's crazy, right? They get their little paper out, and they make their hurricane checklist, right? All the things we need in case this happens. They expecting it to happen, right? They got a hurricane list, but not a list for their own life. I'm like, if people approach life and success like they did a hurricane, this world would be flooded with millionaires. Come on now, prepare for success. Expectation is the fertile soil that dreams need to bloom. What are you expecting out of life? I get up every single day expecting good things to happen, doors to open, the phone to ring for bookings, favor with the venues that I go to, for God to bring the right film crew in, the right sponsors, the right teammates. I expect it. If it don't happen that day, it don't matter. I'm still expecting it. So it will happen. What is your expectation? Some people get up like, well, you know, life is just hell. That's their expectation. You know what? Life confirms it. Come on now. See, focus is challenging in today's world. We got all the social media, all the news, the 24-hour news cycle, man. They keep us 
looking over here, squirrel as we call it. Oh, there's something, let me go that way. Squirrel, oh, there's something over there, right? Come on now. These people that go to the next level, the Mark Zuckerbergs, the Bill Gates, the Elon Musk, the ones that are gonna put us on Mars, NASA, all these people that do big things, they unify, they focus. John F. Kennedy said, we're going to the moon. NASA had one goal, one dream, one focus, bro, and we ended up on the moon. Muhammad Ali said, I'm going to be the greatest of all time. And that was his only focus, and he became the greatest of all time. But life is going to try everything in its power to derail you. I'll give you an example. When I, was, I mentioned earlier about being a martial artist. When I was growing up, we used to spar. It's like, you know, simulating fighting, right? One of us would get over here on this side, and one of us would get over here on this side. And we'd have this little ring, like 20 by 20, whatever ring, and a referee right in the middle. All right, ready? Y'all ready? One, one, one. Y'all ready? Two? Okay. Y'all ready? Three. Life don't do that. I learned that the hard way. I trained like that for years. I moved to South Florida from Texas. Come down here in 10th grade, man, it's just gangs everywhere. I go to the mall and get, first day I go to the mall, boom, somebody blindsides me. Hold on, they didn't go one, two, three. That's life. Life's going to hit you with a brick when you least expect it. But it's how you respond that matters. We all going to get hit. But what you do when you get hit, that determines who's a champion and who's not. And I'm, I'm real firm about this. I don't think anybody should be called a champion until they've been knocked down in life. Until they've been written off, until the world says it's over. Then we find out what you're made of. Because see, anybody can do it when everything is going good, when the money's flowing, when your health is there, the marriage is good, everybody's attracted in the marriage, right? Like all that stuff, anybody can do that. But, let, but get the phone call at 12.30 in the morning like I did about my daddy having a stroke. The war jumps off. Then we're going to find out what you're made of. So you have to train yourself. Greatness requires being comfortable being uncomfortable. When you go to boot camp and military, what do they do? Man, they try to make you real uncomfortable. So that when you get out there in war, you understand what it's about. In football, same thing. We, they had them two a days, two practices a day, eight hours, all this. They're doing like double the length of a football game. So when they get out there to a football game, the game is easy. You see, the difference between champions and average everyday people, an average person goes to the gym, starts doing sit-ups. They get to about 20 and it starts hurting. They say, okay, I've done 20. Champion don't start counting until they get to 20 and they start hurting. Okay, now let's count. One, two. That's how a champion do because they understand, as the young lady was saying here earlier, that you have to break the muscles down in the gym, right? The resistance is what builds the strength. Diamonds are made under intense pressure. So are champions. Let me ask you again, anybody in here want to be successful? Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31-day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Blessed and Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at blessedandunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon. This one's called Grind. This one's about work. It was all fun up to now, right? Now we got to put some work in. Blood, sweat, and tears are the only credit cards accepted here. Bitcoin 
is not a form of payment. Greatness can only be paid for with the currency of hard work. Your work ethic is your credit score. You apply for success. You know how when you, you apply for a credit card, right? They look at, look at your credit, card, credit score or whatever and say, okay, well, you either get approved or not, right? Success is the same way. Oh, oh you, want, you want success? Okay, let me look at your credit score. Your credit score is your work ethic. Are you grinding? Are you working? Success is available to all who want it, but not everybody's willing to pay the price for it. Are you willing to pay the price? I see you nodding. Come on now. See, the studies show that to master something, you got to do 10,000 hours of it. To be a legend, 20,000 hours. Are you willing to give that much time to be great at what you want to do? The Tupacs, the Jay Z's, these guys of music, they spent every awake moment with a pencil in their hand, writing, practicing, holding that mic in the studio, on the road, every second of their time, moving and grinding toward their goal. Your work ethic is what removes that illusion that you don't have what God has given you. You chisel away at it with your grind. Every single day, put in work, simple. Success is simple, look, just decide what it is that you want and then grind at the level it takes to achieve it, that's it. Now discipline, scriptural right here says, I discipline my body and make it my slave so that after I have preached to others, I myself will not be disqualified. What is your discipline level? See, life is a war between those who want it and those who want it more. Which one are you? The world's gonna get up every single day and ask that question. Are you this one, the average? Or are you great? See, and discipline is birthed out of Motive. You got to get a strong enough why, a reason to do what it is that you want to do. How bad do you want it? That's the question. Because sometimes, whenever you pursue greatness at the high levels, man, there's going to be some days where you just want to quit. If you just want to be local in life, you might, just, you might not have them kind of challenges. But if you want to go to that next level, that level up we talked about, there's going to be some days that you want to quit, that you don't want to go to the gym, that you don't want to eat right. But the greats do it anyway. It's not about emotion. The weak function out of emotion. Well, I don't feel like working out today. I don't feel like putting in the reading time to study entrepreneurism. I don't feel like that. What's your feelings got to do with your dream? Come on now. Put the work in. Dedicate yourself to that which you say you want to be. Perseverance. Come on now. I say this on a video where the why is greater than the obstacle. The obstacle ceases to exist. Do you want it bad enough? Now listen to me. Every single day, your spiritual enemy is getting up asking this question, what does it take to break you? What does it take to break you if I get him fired at his job? If I get the spouse to cheat on him, take the kids and run off? If I lay cancer on his body or his family? If I strip away all hope, will they quit. If the funding don't come through to start the dream, the job, the business that you want to do, whatever it is, will you quit? If you don't heal fast enough and you're believing and things aren't showing up, they say you never walk again. You're going to accept that? Are you going to keep fighting? 
Your enemy's asking this question from the moment you open your eyes to the moment you go to sleep. Now understand this. There will be warfare at the point in your life, wherever you can expand, grow, thrive, or multiply, the enemy's going to show up. When you're outside of God's will and doing things for the enemy, the enemy will leave you alone. When I was out in that rap life, it was like, ooh, what up, right? The moment I start pursuing God's calling for me, boom, the war jump off. But see, don't get alarmed by that. That's supposed to happen. That's why we call you warrior. That's why we call you champion. You can't be no champion without a fight, without a struggle. You can't be an overcomer unless you overcome something. You can't have a testimony without first having a test. So don't get rocked and shake when the enemy moves. Use it as confirmation like, ooh, I'm on the right path. Because the enemy only attacks what he fears, what he is threatened by. And if he's attacking me, then I must got a future. I must be damaged to him. The greater the struggle, the higher the destiny. Some of you are going through some real struggles. Understand this. There's a reason for it. There is a purpose for the struggle. Ask God to show you what it is. There's a lesson in it. Sometimes we can't go to that next level until we learn the lesson today that we need in this. You got to master today to qualify for tomorrow. God's not going to send one billion people until we can be a good steward of 200. If we can't manage $100, why should he give you a million? Perseverance. Never, ever, ever quit. You dream the dream, and you don't stop believing until the, the world taps out. That's it. God is with you. Where God is, if God be with you, who be against you? Ron May, Luther Campbell, a lot of y'all know who he is down here, and Uncle Luke, his manager, Ron May, gave me this verse, man. I'd be out on the block with my CDs back in the day grinding, and things wouldn't be happening. And I was, man, I was getting it in every single day hustling. And I, sometimes I'd be like to him, I was like, man, I'm going to quit, bro. This thing ain't hot. This ain't popping. He said this verse to me, and let us not grow weary by doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Don't lose heart, champion. Come on. Each and every one of you in here say, champion. champion. I'm an overcomer. Okay. Now I want to end on this. There was an eight-year-old boy praying by his bed one night. He gets called up into heaven. He gets up there sees God standing there, and off in the distance, there's these buildings, these big warehouses, as far as he can see, warehouse after warehouse after warehouse. Little boy says, what's in there? God said, come, let's see. So he brings the boy inside the buildings. We get inside the buildings. All he can see inside these buildings are these metal containers that come off these cargo ships, as far as he can see. And each one of these cargo ships has a name written on the side of it. And the little boy recognizes all the names. Johnny, that's my brother, my sister, mom, dad, classmates, teacher, church, pastor. All, like all he could say, he knew every single name on these containers. So he looks at God and says, what's in there? God said, come, let's see. Comes over to the containers. God starts opening them up and he said, son. In these containers are all the dreams, the breakthroughs, the victories, the successes, the promotions, the money, the abundance, the life that I want to give my people if they would just believe. Go back and tell them all that I have for them. Tell them to believe in me. And I'm telling you today, believe in that truth that God put on the inside of you. God is so ready willing and excited to make that thing happen for you that he put on the inside. You just have to believe and trust him for it. That's the only way you're going to get there. There will be struggles in life. As I said earlier, I am not Ron Howard. This is not happy days. The struggle is real, but so is the God that will help you overcome it. I'm Billy Alls Brooks. Blessed and unstoppable. 
and to God be the blessed and unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. From living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31 day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Blessed and Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at BlessedAndUnstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon. The struggle is real, but you know you were meant for more. That dream that's on the inside of you just won't shut up. Because you know you were meant for more. You've always been different. They never understood you. They've always doubted you. Because you're different. But you know something that they don't know. You know, to be successful, you cannot follow the masses. You gotta be different. And you are bold enough to be you. You've always been different. Success ain't for everybody. B7U clothing. Wear your identity.